the third round. So um, in this round, we'll be revealing the top 10. Are you excited to know who will be the top 10 among 18 of them? Don't you believe they all deserve it?
what is your biggest strength and how does it benefit you in life? Thank you so much for the question. Uh, I believe my biggest strength is that I have the will to learn. I accept myself that I am imperfect and incomplete and I am still learning. So I believe that I have the will to learn, to learn new things, to inhabit new habits and that helps me give so much confidence to myself and strive for more. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number 11. That was beautifully said. Now contestant number 8. Can you please come and be your judge? Are you happy to be in the top 10? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So my question to you is, describe a challenging situation you overcame in life and what have you learned from it? Thank you for the question, ma'am. That I have overcome in my life will be stage fright. As you can see today, I have overcome my fear to stand before you all and to present myself in front of you all. Thank you. Thank you, Captain number eight. If you win this title tonight. Thank you, Miss, for the question. And this is a very big platform and it's a very emotional platform for me because I have strived hard and I'm here today not only because of my ability but because of my parents who supported me. It's a very big and emotional platform for me today here. And if I win this title, it's not only a joy and happiness to my soul, but it's a joy and happiness to my family and my parents as well. Through this platform, I will use this opportunity and through the networking opportunities, I will help the young generations not only to help them and uh, build more confidence, but I will help them not, uh, not so that they won't be like facing fears or discouraged because of what they are, what they have. But I would like to encourage them, whatever we have, with that we can become someone and through the courage and confident we can become someone someday. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number three. Contestant number 12, and my question to you is, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Thank you very much for the question, please. So, I see myself five years from now, I have a strong, powerful, independent man who strives to become successful and be in a stage giving hopes to our younger generations on having, on telling them or giving speeches on them regarding what they do. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number 12. That's a very challenging question, but thank you for the inspiring answer. Now, contestant number one, can you please speak your judge? Congratulations. Thank you, Amanda. My question to you is, how do you handle rejection and use it as a tool for growth and self-improvement. Thank you so much for the question, ma'am. I use rejection as a powerful tool to improve myself because, um, like I said, rejection, I think rejection is not just something to pull you down, but also to uplift your growth personally, in the society, and wherever you are. So yeah, uh, I think that is how I do it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, contestant number one. That was a very beautiful answer. Now, contestant number four. How do you define leadership and how has it influenced your perspective in life? Leadership is someone who leads people by working together with them, by taking your opinions, by becoming one of those, those which, who are following him. And that is a leader to me. A leadership is not someone who is just uh, giving orders out, but who is also working hard, struggling along with his followers, along with them. And that is what leadership is doing. Thank you. Thank you, Captain number four. Contestant number seven. Hi, sir. Are you ready for the next question? Yes, sir. So my question for you is, 
do you prefer, or sorry, my question to you is, what would you choose among skills, money, or fame, and why? Thank you so much for the question, sir. Um, if I were to choose between skills, money, and fame, I think I would go for skills, because I think um, in everything that you do in life, I think we all need skills to overcome and to accomplish whatever you need to do. So I think skills is more important uh, compared to fame and money. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number seven. When you face failure, and how you bounce back from it? I think this was my question. Failure in my life, because we as a human being, we experience failure. And how did I bounce my failure is that I learned from my own mistake, which corrects in my life. Thank you. Thank you. I have a simple question for you. Since today is our literary cultural day, my question is, tell us why we should preserve our traditions and values. Please repeat the question. Tell us why we should preserve our culture. Is because our ancestors have worked so hard to uh, to uh, preserve our culture. We have heard today from our sister that our ancestors they have fought so hard for our land. Though. Uh, though they were countries using our land, they still tried really hard. They fought with all their might, and which is why I believe we should preserve this culture uh, as a respect to our ancestors. Thank you. But uh, we're looking to our team, the team that is our that is today's team. Please tell us something about the team. What in your perspective? Professional <laughs> skills. Producing your own skills, working on your own talents and hard works, and producing your very own techniques to your own hard work and their potentials, the skills, which you also get the opportunity to discover your own potentials, the undiscovered area of your life. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, contestant number 10. That was amazing. Okay, uh, all the contestants, you guys are amazing, very competitive. And I thank you all for your thoughtful and inspiring insights. Uh, you can kindly exit the stage. Now, uh, okay. How was it? Did you enjoy it? <laughs>
again? Okay, then I'll declare. It's serial number seven. Okay, shout again. Yes, you're correct. 
Mr. Sasu 2024 goes to serial number 12. <laughs>
by board of things. I request our dear Mr. Makujo, Kijo, and Ms. Misa Kumuteto to kindly come up on the stage and receive a small token of our appreciation. Thank you.